Hey guys, so I literally uh, just got off work like about an hour or so ago, um, but this is a video that I really wanted to post um, as soon as I got my voice back. As I, you know, my voice has been struggling lately um, and I'm finally up to being able to do this video. Um, and before I get into why I'm doing this video, first I want to tell you my YouTube story. Um, I have been using YouTube since gosh like 2006 2007 um, I've been on YouTube watching YouTube videos and YouTube has been an awesome platform for me as a video editor um, and videographer I guess is the word I'm looking for to be able to create videos and use this platform to put music videos musical montage documentaries just daily home videos type of stuff and it's been awesome it's been great and um, as you all know, um, for those who've been following my channel, um, I st when I went to the Disney College program, it became a place for me to kind of document that. And that is really where my YouTube story take took off. Um, it wasn't until uh, my college program roommate Emily and I created this channel, um, originally it was Two Girls Our World, that we realized that this, that's when YouTubers really became like a thing, the like word YouTuber, and we were like, hey, maybe we could be YouTubers and use our lives, you know, kind of our college, kind of like a spinoff of our college program channels, and film our lives like daily vloggers and maybe make something off of this, either just to have a following or just to maybe make a penny off of it. And as of 2016, fall 2016, I became um, a YouTube partner. Um, I ended up, Emily dropped off of the channel and I ended up taking control of it, making it the Danny Diaries, and the Danny Diaries became a uh, mon, mon, I lost the word. I was able to make money off of the videos. Now, for those who are like, you were able to make money off of your videos, Every ad you click on on one of my videos, including this one, um, I would make a penny. One cent. One cent. And for, as you all can probably tell right now, I only have about a little over 250 subscribers. So although I get my a lot of views from my videos since I post a video every single day, that money percentage doesn't really add up very much. And from 2016 to now, 2018, January, I'm finally going to be able to pay off from that profit. Uh, Google gives you, um, apparently, uh, I'm under the assumption that Google gives it to you in, in uh, checks of 100. So I'm finally just past $95. It's taken that long. Um, and it's really, really exciting just to be able to do what I love posting videos of just my life, um, really for myself, for my future self, and for family that lives far away to be able to see what my now husband and I do, um, I'm able to make money off of that and that's awesome. Especially considering I am still working as a full-time cast member and also trying to start my Etsy store up, like $100 is a nice kind of little pocket change. Um, so going to uh, now, um, for those who do not know, a week or so ago, YouTube decided after the amazing choices of some not so great YouTubers um, breaking several rules um, for society and also for the YouTube platform, um, YouTube has decided to limit the amount of people who can monetize, that's the word I was looking for, uh, their videos. Uh, basically, they've limited the amount of people who can make money off of their videos. So instead of, you know, making the rules tighter or making new rules for newer new YouTubers coming in, they have capped it at if you have under a thousand subscribers, and I think it's like under 4,000 views within a couple of months. I can't remember the view count exactly, but I know the 1,000 subscribers one. If you got under 1,000 subscribers, 
you're no longer a YouTube partner as of February 20th. So it doesn't matter that I've been trying very hard to use, you know, non-copyrighted music, very hard not to um, say anything or do anything that goes against the YouTube guidelines, which it's been very hard. Um, also, one thing that I haven't been talking about is almost every single one of my, because a couple a little couple months ago, um, YouTube started like um, viewing or reviewing uh, certain YouTube videos um, and flagging them as not monetized. But what they would do is they would still play ads on them. You just wouldn't get the money. Somebody else would because it wasn't suitable for certain subscribers or for certain advertisers. Now. This means, like, if I put, for example, if I put Disney in the title at all, Disney or, like, Publix or, like, I think there was even one thing that I did that was kind of on um, the Pulse shooting I did just to say, like, I said, like, pray for Orlando. That's all I said. Like, those videos all automatically got demonetized just because I put that in the title. And that doesn't go against the guidelines, it's just something that could have gone against the guidelines. So automatically it would demonetize it. So what I would have to do is then go in and say, please review again. And then lo and behold, it would be fine. And I can honestly say about 75% of my videos I have to do that with, which is why I'm glad that I've been able to now schedule them ahead of time. So that way YouTube can be like, oh, this can't be monetized. And so I can say, yes, it can before it's actually published. So that way any money that's made off of it, I actually get, not Google or YouTube. But I mean, none of that really matters anymore because I'm not gonna be able to do, be able to monetize my videos as of February 20th, all because I don't have a thousand subscribers. And this video, yes, is me venting about it because I've been very good about keeping quiet because I know YouTube and Google have been trying their very best and it's very hard to monitor what is being put on where without making us have to pay or having our viewers have to pay to use the service. I get it. Believe me, I come from a multi-million dollar company, Walt Disney Company. I get policies and having to make rules and one person ruins it for the rest of us. I get it. But I think it is very unfair because you do have to, to get to monetize your videos, you have to get to a certain level anyway. You have to get to a certain level of subscribers and a certain level of views. So it's not like I just automatically got to start making money off of my YouTube channels. And it's just been, it's just frustrating because I, if I don't make that $100 check before February 20th and it get put into their system, that $100, poof, gone gone. All of that, all of that time, all of that money that I've gained off, those pennies that I've gained off, it's going to be gone. And it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking, it's disappointing, and it's devastating YouTube that you would do this. And I get, I understand, I get why. I just feel like that I can understand suspend I can understand suspending certain YouTube channels or putting a pause on monetization for those. Like that's if you want to put a pause on us, I get it. So that way you can get stuff under control or figure out maybe a plan B. I get it. And I get this is your way of limiting how many people, but it still doesn't make it fair for you to take it away from those who have worked so hard, a small YouTubers who have worked so hard to get to where we are now. And I hate that I have to make this kind of video, but it is like literally, and if you've watched my videos recently, or I don't even know if it's been posted yet, like when I read that email, because I saw someone post something about it on Instagram, and then I went and I got the email like five minutes later, I wanted to punch a wall, I was so mad. And I know it's something stupid, it's small, it's over just a hundred dollars, but I make about ten dollars an hour working very hard. And so getting any extra money doing something that I love, it's kind of an awesome thing. And for you to say that I can have this and then just take it away because some other big shot YouTuber who clearly doesn't deserve to be making money off of his YouTube videos because he made a stupid cultural mistake that honestly he should have gotten arrested for. Like you're gonna punish the hundred thousands of other small YouTubers who are actually doing what we're supposed to. 
Anyway, <sighs> I am glad to get that off my chest. I will try very hard not to talk about it anymore. Um, maybe in a year or so, I'll actually get a thousand subscribers. I know my channel has grown a lot the last year, which I'm very happy and excited about. And you, the viewers, have been awesome and so supportive with everything that Jared and I, my husband and I, have gone through. And I love you guys so much. And like I love I lo love vlogging I love doing YouTube and I even if I if YouTube decides to like crash itself or do something stupid so that way no one's on it anymore I will find another platform and I will continue vlogging because I don't think I could stop vlogging even vlog not vlogging when my voice wasn't doing very well like it was hard and I hated it so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys understand YouTube I'm not going to say anything else, and I hope you guys have a better day, and um, the, vid the videos will be coming daily soon, I promise guys, I'm daily vlogging again, and the voice is getting better, better, it's still, as you can hear, it's not completely, it's still a little raspy, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a better evening, bye!